So as we saw in the first trailer of Jurassic World Dominion, it does seem like the Giganotosaurus appears very late. The Jurassic Park and Jurassic World characters are united, and it looks like a lot has taken place before the sequence, and that alone tells us quite a lot. Based on their dialogue, this is the first time they are seeing this dinosaur. When you think about Jurassic World Dominion, the storyline and all the information is much different than Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Before Fallen Kingdom, we already had an idea of what happened to Jurassic World. The park was shut down, dinosaurs were now wild, and there was the volcano. So before the film began, we already knew most of the basic details. Now as it does pertain to Jurassic World Dominion, there are plenty of different storylines that have to be established. They need to show the role and more information about Biosyn, how dinosaurs are interacting on mainland, reintroducing Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant, and the Jurassic World characters, as well as Blue and her infant. Then on top of all of this, you have the Mosasaurus, the Atrociraptor pack, and you also have Ian Malcolm. Ian Malcolm has to meet up with Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant, and then they team up with the other characters. So the overall idea here is that in Jurassic World Dominion, the first true appearance of the Giganotosaurus will be in the second half. And it almost has to be that way, otherwise it would interrupt these other storylines. But with all of this being said, there most likely will be references to this dinosaur throughout the entire film. Kind of like how there's a lot of talk about the Indominus Rex back in Jurassic World. It was being talked about by Dr. Henry Wu and Maz Rani, and they were saying how different this dinosaur hybrid is. It was bigger than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I do believe in the build-up, there will be a lot of dialogue, and they will talk about why they cloned this dinosaur. And very much like the Irex paddock scene, we could see glimpses of this dinosaur. And then the first official appearance is what we saw in the trailer. The character sees this dinosaur for the very first time, and that's when the main focus is now on the Giganotosaurus. So overall, this dinosaur likely will appear in the second half, but it will not be that late in the film. Very much like the Indoraptor back in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. For all of you though, write your opinions on this topic down below, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.